Hey, what's up? What's up? It's your homeboy, Maul the Pimp, a.k.a. MTP. And welcome to another edition of Stories from the Pimp. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, this story I'm going to tell y'all right here was when I got clowned and joked on by Snoop Dogg and his whole entourage from bringing some bullshit weed around them. You follow what I'm saying? Thinking I had that shit. You feel me? So uh, this took place in Atlanta right here. So uh, Dave Aaron, rest in peace. Called me and said, hey, man, we're going to be in Atlanta, man. We got a show with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. You want to come jump on the bus and chill with us? So naturally, of course, I said yes. You follow what I'm saying? So uh, now my whole thing, this is my first time ever coming around right here. You feel me? So my whole thing was, shit, I got, I'm going to come down here like now. I got my own weed, too. You follow what I'm saying? So uh, I wasn't to holler my homeboy from the west side. I said his name now because he don't hustle no more. My homeboy, Peter Wayne, you feel me? I went and got the weed from him. I think he had the... Uh, and then this one niggas was still smoking that mid grade. This was for the loud was just the thing to smoke. This one you still had that mid grade, that good mid. When niggas would charge you fifty for a quarter or seventy for a half, that type of shit right there. You follow what I'm saying? So I wanna get a half an ounce from Peter Wayne or some good light green mid grade. You follow what I'm saying? Finna pull my shit out and stunt too. You follow what I'm saying? So we get to Atlanta. I get to Atlanta. I jump on the tour bus. We leaving the hotel. We were staying at the Ritz Carlton Hotel on Peachtree. We leave the hotel in a little tour bus, a little sprint van type shit that will be now, I guess, going to Lenox Mall. You feel me? So uh, it was Snoop. I mean, Snoop was on the bus. Of course, Snoop, Daz, Superfly, Uncle Junebug, rest in peace, DJ Jam, uh, Tasha, Queen, Queen B, Snoop's hair braider. And uh and Dave and then a few more people like you know business people publicists and shit like that you follow what I'm saying so uh we leave the we leave the ho- hotel going to the mall the bus is smoked out it's about fifteen to twenty blunts just floating around all that California shit the bus smoked out so you know I'm like let me let me let me pull my weed out you follow what I'm saying I got some weed too let me pull my shit out bro y'all know niggas with some weed let me pull my shit out. I pulled my little half ounce out that I done paid 70 for. You feel me? Break it down, roll a fat ass blunt. I lit it. Now keep in mind, it's blunts going everywhere. A straight California shit. The bus is clouded as a motherfucker, bro. You feel me? I pulled my shit out, roll a fat ass blunt. I light it. Man, I took problem on my second puff. I think it was, uh, I think it was Daz. Daz. Daz from the dog pound. Daz Dillinger. Daz was like, <laughs> Man, somebody lit up a cigarette on this motherfucker. You follow what I'm saying? <laughs> that was a nigga said. Somebody lit up a cigarette on this motherfucker, bro. You feel me? I got some mid-grade weed. It stinks so bad. That nigga said it's a cigarette because they ain't used to smoking that shit. You follow what I'm saying? So the nigga say, man, somebody lit up a cigarette on this motherfucker. The nigga looked around. I'm the only new nigga on the bus. You follow what I'm saying? The nigga looked around and said, man, cuz, this cuz right there. Cuz lit up a cigarette, man. Hey, you got to put that shit out, cuz. Put that shit out, man. Yeah, but he laughing, Snoop laughing, you know what I'm saying? A super fly, they all just laughing, bro. You feel me? Like, man, this nigga done brought that bullshit around us. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. Hold on, so he knew it wasn't a cigarette. He just knew it was some bullshit and he was. Honestly, bro. Honestly, uh. It probably smelled so foul to them that it came across as a cigarette. You follow what I'm saying? It's just like I said, if you smoking some weed and then a nigga light a primo. You follow what I'm saying? You gonna be like, what the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? So it probably came across with that. That's some probably some shit that ain't smoked in 40 years. So whatever it was, whatever nigga smoked, it don't smell right. You follow what I'm saying? So a nigga clowned me about that. I was, I was sitting right there next to Dave. Dave, Dave, rest in peace, Dave Aaron. So when they was clowning me like, man, he done lit a cigarette, man. Put that shit out, man. We don't smoke that shit. Put that shit out. Dave was like, yeah, my old man, I forgot to tell you. They don't smoke shit like that, man. I forgot to tell you. He said, shit, I'll smoke it with you. So me and Dave smoked the rest of the blunt, you feel me? And I put the, put the shit out. Took my weed and put that motherfucker right back in my bag, bro. Ain't no use of me pulling this shit out. You follow what I'm saying? And I just smoked the rest of their weed the whole time. You feel me? So, uh, the first crazy part about that is this, though. Fast forward. About eight months or a year later, the Rock the Mic tour come up. Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, Jay-Z, Busta Rhymes, I think Bone Crusher. It was a nice little tour. I got invited back for that tour right there. Keep in mind, I just had that bullshit weed, right? The last time they saw me, the last time and the first time they ever saw me, I had that bullshit weed. Now I'm on the Rock the Mic tour. The date, we was on a date in Nashville. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, coincidentally, Nashville. So uh, we all, we on the tour bus chilling. Everybody went to the back of the tour bus. It's just literally me, Snoop, and Lady Dollar. 
in the front of the tour bus. Everybody else in the back of the tour bus doing anything. It's just us three at the front of the tour bus. This nigga Snoop pulled his a jar of weed out of like and pulled up some nuggets out. Like, hey man, here you go, nephew. We can have you smoking that shit you were smoking last time, man. You family now, bro. You follow what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn. That shit was so bullshit I had last time. You remember that shit? That was, that was eight, nine months ago, bro. You follow what I'm saying? But that kind of made them remember me behind that shit like that. You follow what I'm saying? So he blessed me with some nice that California shit. I'm like, man, you family nephew. You can't have you smoking that shit, bro. You follow what I'm saying? But that whole little thing was just a cool experience. You follow what I'm saying? I thought it was cool. I didn't take it personal. I came with my little bullshit Tennessee weed, and they weren't feeling that shit. You know what I'm saying? I actually rapped about that in the song I did. I had a song I did called California that I recorded when I... uh. When I got to L.A., and, and, and the line I said in that song was, uh, I had that mid-grade from down south. To them, it was bad, but I can't forget the fun that I had in California. You know what I'm saying? So I just had to refer to that right there in that song. Right there, cause it was just some shit that was funny to me. You follow what I'm saying? So that's just one of my stories again, man, from stories with MTP. And again, go to my website, www.mildapimp.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is called Pimp Hollow TV. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Pimp. Salute. So how long did they give you shit after that? Or was it that only time when Snoop hit you with that weed? That- yeah, that's the only time. That was the only time. After that, it was all gravy. I came around 10 or 15 times since then, so it was all gravy after that. But that one time, by the nigga giving me that weed and saying, hey, man, here, take this, bro. We can't you smoking that bullshit like last time there for you family now. That mean a nigga that forget when I light that bullshit up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if that's what it takes for you to remember me and be, and be more familiar and comfortable with me, then so be it, man. You feel me? So be it, man. Yeah, that on that.